We go to a story that took place at St. John Bosco Parish on North McVicar Avenue in Chicago. That's where the relics of St. John Bosco were on display. Bone fragments are encased in a resin replica of the saint. Several weekend activities were held celebrating the visit, including a youth rally. We caught up with Pastor Timothy Zach, who reflected on the significance of St. John Bosco. When he was canonized, the Pope called him a giant of sanctity. One of the most popular saints uh, of, in the world today. Uh, founded the Salesians of Don Bosco, the second largest religious order. He dedicated his life to serving the young. His spirit continues animating people throughout the world to serving the young and the poor. Performed miracles through God's grace and led many young people to come to know God's love. The, the significance of the relic to St. John Bosco Church uh, to Chicago is an opportunity for renewal of faith and grace. Uh, we recognize that God is the source of all holiness. So when we come to, know, come to know the saints and reverence the saints, we come to know God who is the source of holiness. As Don Bosco dedicated himself to the young, we see the young people taking a center lead. Uh, the occasions that are surrounding the relic also give the young uh, kind of a, a center stage to see that the church is alive, the church is youthful, the church is dynamic. The relics of St. John Bosco are on a worldwide tour going to all the uh, places where the Salesians minister, the community founded by St. John Bosco. Now, I I'm assuming that relics are important only because saints are important. So before I ask you about the relics, Cardinal, could you just comment on the importance and the role of saints within the life of the church? Well, saints are all those people who are in heaven. And uh, we're all called to be saints here on earth as well as in heaven, which means you're to be a friend of God. And uh, nobody loves God alone. We love him together as his people. And he loves us together. And so the saints do what the friends do. They intercede for us. Uh, they take care of us. They listen to us. And uh, we rejoice in that friendship. And so we honor the saints and ask for their help. Now, what about relics themselves? Obviously, to non-Catholics, this seems like a very strange part of Catholicism. Um, why do we venerate uh, relics? Well, if a person is holy, a, a human person is body and soul, and so everything about the person is holy. So bodies are holy. Bodies aren't containers that are discarded. They will rise from the dead so that the person can be whole throughout eternity. Uh, I, I think that that modern separation between mind and body uh, that has been a constant plague uh, in uh, our understanding of what it means to be human for the last 400 years is not part of Catholic vision of things. We're much more holistic. Uh, relics are important because they're holy. The bodies of saints are holy. And so it's a way to uh, honor the saint by honoring his body. I never thought of that. That's, that's really mm -hmm. very helpful. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's sort of part of the celebration of the incarnation. Flesh yeah, is sure, good. Sure, God flesh is good. Flesh. Absolutely. Yeah, well, thank you.